What up? I said, what up? What's going on, y'all? Chilling, chilling, chilling. So this is something that really got my attention. I want to weigh in on the Anthony Davis to the Lakers trade. So it didn't happen yet, but they're saying, you know, that Boston and LA really want to get a hold of Anthony Davis and rightfully so. Why wouldn't you want to get a player like Anthony Davis basically? And why wouldn't Anthony Davis want to play with LeBron or play with Boston? I don't know if he really wants to play with Boston. I know he wants to go to LA and Rich Paul is his agent and him and LeBron are like this. But I have my, the roster in front of me, LA's roster. They have Lonzo Ball going. They have Kuzma going and they have the center. It, it's a good center. I forget. Zubak. They have Zubak, Kuzma, and Lonzo going to the Pelicans for Anthony Davis. So the Lakers will have will have LeBron James. They'll have Brandon Ingram. They'll have Anthony Davis. That's three starters right there. They'll have who will be their point guard? Will they Oh, Ray John Rondo will be the point guard. That's four. And the shooting guard will be, I think Josh Hart is good to just keep on the bench. I guess Caldwell Pope, if he doesn't get put in there, thrown in there with the package. So I think Josh Hart is a good bench player to generate offense if they don't get somebody like Carmelo Anthony. So they were talking about getting Carmelo Anthony to help out with the bench when LeBron and, you know, Anthony Davis sits on the bench and Le and Carmelo Anthony comes in and, you know, try to just, all he has to do is score eight points. And Josh Hart comes in and he scores six points. So that would be pretty good, but I don't know if that's enough to beat the Golden State Warriors. The Warriors are just such a good team and they're gelled. I think it's enough to beat them but I don't know if they're gelled enough to beat them, you know, and the bench, I don't think the Warriors bench is that good this year. For some reason, they haven't been playing as solid as the past. Their bench used to be like, man, like two starters, like two starting teams, but now they don't look so hot without like JaVale McGee. But um, yeah, so they're still gonna have JaVale McGee also. So I just want to know, what do you guys think? Like, do you guys think, like, if they get Anthony Davis and keep Ingram, you know, they're going to have to keep, they're going to have to keep Ingram or Kuzma. If they don't keep one of those guys, they're not going to be as solid as people think. They're going to struggle a lot because people do get tired. This isn't NBA 2K, you know, and LeBron's getting a little older. As you can see, he got hurt and... He was out for a long time. Usually he get hurt, and although a groin injury ain't no joke, but usually he gets hurt and then he's out for three games or something, then he comes back. What do you guys think? Tell me if you think they have what it takes to beat the Warriors and win the NBA Finals. Because we all know Warriors is the team to beat to win the Finals. I'm out. Peace.